If we look nowadays in this COVID pandemic times, it gets more and more serious or more sporadic. I mean, it's more contagious. It keeps evolving, mutating because our heart is not, not pure. All this COVID, all this pandemic, why does it mutate? It mutates in accordance to our heart, in accordance to our thoughts. If our thought and heart turns pure, turns focus on pure stuff, wholesome, I can tell you, you will no longer be affected by them if our heart is pure, clean. If you look at uh, Pure Land, uh, is, is there any uh, sutra that says uh, Amitra for uh, 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 did they say any pandemic happened in Pure Land or in the land of the Buddha? No. Because Pure Land uh, is comprised of people uh, who has an environmentalist at, high, at heart. All the residents of Pure Land are environmentalists. How? Because their heart is pure. So they purify the environment. However, in our world, why is it such a, in such a state, state? Because we are polluting them with our wandering thoughts. The root of, uh, cause of our illness uh, is because of our wandering thoughts, discriminations and attachments. It came from there. If you want to be healthy, we must cultivate this pure heart. To start cultivating the pure heart for right awakening, we need to start letting it go of attachments that we have strongly adhered to. Let go of any situation, environment, adverse or favorable. In case of adverse conditions, something that causes us unhappy, we let go. We need use Amitabha to replace it. Once you do that with the habit, your heart gets purified further and further. Hence, your health gets better. And the problem of us uh, in Buddhist teaching is we are not listening to the Buddha's advice. We're not putting it in our heart. Yeah. We come here to attend the sessions. A lot of people might say, I'm busy, I have a lot of works, uh, I have a lot of chores or family business to adhere to. A lot of excuses sometimes, to be honest, sometimes in this world. Uh, other than cultivation, cultivating Amitabha's name in our heart, nothing else you do can be brought to the next one. Very few people in this world can live 100 years old. Even you reach 100 years old is nothing to eternity. In this tiny speck of our existence, in this universe, our existence is such a tiny speck. Why aren't we doing something that will exchange for something bigger and infinite instead of clinging to something that cannot last? True. It is like that. We must listen to the Lord, uh, to Buddha's name, Buddha's uh, teaching, because he's been there. If we do not listen, we will still cling to this entanglement. We get entangled in these afflictions. Only from a pure heart, the heart free from all this selfishness and affliction and entanglement can nurture a true wisdom that leads you to the right awakening. However, on the other hand, if the heart is not pure, if our mind is not pure, our heart is not pure, even though we are wise, we are smart, Buddha, Bodhisattva will not award comfort to us, comfort our wisdom and smart as the labor of right awakening. It's not. Because person who attain right awakening and arahant do not get bound 
by life and death. It's called it the state of cessation of life and death. Nirvana. Since you have transcended the uh, sixth realm, uh, no longer, uh, how to say, since we achieve right awakening through pure heart, uh, life and death is not a problem. All the affliction comes from the polluted heart. Mm. If we get through the issues of life and death by achieving right awakening, that life and death is a small matter already. What about the rest? Nothing else can trouble you anymore. Even life and if we have solved the problem of life and death, that means we're no longer bound by it. Everything else is petty, small. I mean, everything else is not a problem, no problem, you know. That's what we want from Buddhism. 